Welcome to the Captain Crow Show. Today we wanted to take a look at a demo for a release coming soon called Spark in the Dark. It was quite frankly an amazing, fun, and difficult roguelike that we could only scratch the surface of. It's so difficult we would almost call it the Dark Souls of roguelike games. Like most true roguelikes, when you die, it's over. There is no picking up your stuff where you lied or anything. It sends you back to the start menu to re-roll and start from scratch. Every corner you turn has the potential for life-threatening danger. And if you get more than a couple of enemies on you, just forget about it. It's over. There's beds you can sleep at, but don't try to sleep at them if you're not in an enclosed area. Most of the time it will cause more trouble than it can solve. Combining Dark Souls and Oregon Trail didn't seem like it would be a good idea until we saw this game. Almost every action has a role with a potential outcome for disease or afflictions of some kind. The simplistic design of the game can make it both extremely rewarding and extraordinarily frustrating. A roller coaster of a game when it comes to emotions and its dark overtones tend to give it a more horror aspect with creatures moving in ways that seem unnatural and unnerving. Coupled with the unintended jump scares of things crawling out of the pitch darkness around the edges of the screen. The dungeons are pitch black and only your immediate surroundings are lit up unless you have a lantern or a torch. The game has a selection of a few classes with varying skills that we won't get into in this video, so check out our class overview video on that soon. Thanks for watching. This has been your review with The Captain Crow Show. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content.